Now we come to our, our veggie nut burger. Now in this veggie nut burger, we have carrots, parsley, onions, lemon juice, almonds, and pecan nuts. Now with the nuts, it's 50-50 of each. And to that, if we're using one cup of almonds, one cup of nuts, we put about two, two cups of carrots. Now we have three carrots here, half an onion. What we're going to do is just break that up a little bit. And for this we're going to use the food processor. Just break them up small like that. That's the, the great thing about food processor. You just throw everything in there and it'll, it'll do all the work for you. Now, if, if you didn't have carrots and you wanted to use parsnips, yes, you could use a little bit of parsnip, or, or maybe half parsnip and half carrot, would also work pretty well. Again, with nuts, you're not confined to just the, the, the pecan and almonds. You could use hazelnuts in there, would work quite pretty well. The, uh, I was going to say nuts are nuts. But you can, depends on what your favourite nuts are, are the nuts that you can use. Okay, there we go, there's enough nuts there. Now we're going to whisk this up. We're going to add a little bit of Celtic sea salt again, our lovely Celtic sea salt, and lemon juice. Now the lemon juice will help to preserve it, it'll give it taste, and it'll also be the liquid that'll bind it all together. So just a little bit of salt there. Now again, break up the, the lemon juice there again. And because I have lime, I'm going to use the lime also. Now if you had a preference for a uh, Mexican type dish, warmer food, again, you could put your raw chili in here, raw chopped chili. You could use cilantro with the parsley or instead of the parsley, give it that little extra flavor. Nice one in there also with tarragon, give it that nice little sweet flavor. So again, you, you can play around with the herbs. Uh, it, be adventurous as you like. And like I said, if you have a particular preference, if you don't like, if you don't like the almonds or the, the pecan nuts, you can use your favorite nuts. Now I'm just popping that in there like that. Again, like I said, there's half, half a lemon and half a lime in there. Now all the, the ingredients, they're all there in the recipes. So you can feel free to go through the recipes at your leisure, mix and match. As I said, you can use whatever types of nuts you like. If you like garlic, you could put a bit of garlic in there. Garlic again is great, works very well. Not everybody likes garlic. And if you are using garlic, make sure you use parsley as well. It helps to, to combat that beautiful smell of garlic. Now, we're just going to whisk this guy up, take too long. We want it fairly chunky, not too chunky. As I say, we want it just right. As Gandalf would say, we're never late, we're just right. Always there, just on time. Now, that's breaking up nice. Now I'm going to be forming these into, I have a little mould here which I'm going to use and that will shape them for me and so I'll be able to make little individual burger patties if you like. Now you could also put it into a loaf tin and use it as a loaf, use it as a, very important, check the taste. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Boy that's good. Mm. Sorry now, this is just too good. We're going to have to excuse me now for a little minute while I just have a little bit more. Mm. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. The flavours, they, they, they just keep going on and on and on. Wonderful. You're really going to enjoy this one. Now, as I was saying, before I, I started to have a little bit, we're just going to mould some of our mixture here. You could put it down into, like I said, into like a like a cake tin, and form 
a little um, like a little bread loaf, like a little like a little pate, and slice it off as you go as you go along. Now this will go wonderful with our kale salad that we had earlier on. Now we just look at that there now. Give it a little twist. Et voila. Look at that. Now, like I said, with that, we can make a little salsa. We have a nice selection of cherry tomatoes. There's, there's a lot of different types of tomatoes outside. You could chop them up nicely, pop them in there. With the green avocado, with the, the, the kale salad, we've got our lunch ready. We're really going to enjoy this. And I hope you are too.